World Bank War Games pandemic situation in which people are infected and die at alarming rates. Now that's one thing that they did at their annual meeting in Washington, D.C., reports the Washington Post. That article will be linked below. Kind of an odd thing for the World Bank to be think tanking about, don't you think? One thing I did agree with in their assessment right off the bat is that major hospitals would be closed in very short order. Uh, Do not count on hospitals remaining open if a serious pandemic of any sort occurs. You can count on that. I know a lot of people that work at hospitals. The census, as they call it, which is the number of patients in the hospital as a percentage of the number of beds that are available, is consistently above 95%. These big hospitals can't build enough quickly enough. And if you've got a major hospital in your town, I'm sure you see the same thing. Construction cranes and new wings opening as fast as they can get the funding. The point being, if in a city of 500,000 people, let's say, and just 1% of that population is infected with a serious disease, that's 5,000 extra sick people to contend with. There's no way they're going to be able to deal with that influx. And if it's as nasty as hemorrhagic fever, If it's as contagious as even MRSA, I mean, the hospitals at this point, they can't even contain strep throat outbreaks as it is. And hemorrhagic fever, if you know anything about that, is extremely nasty. A lot of bodily fluids, a lot of, you know, dress and gown changes needed, uh, just the production of these things, nobody will be able to keep up. Now, I'm not trying to panic anybody here, but, you know, it's just pragmatic that we should all understand and recognize the reality that we're going to be forced to rely on ourselves if this type of pandemic occurs. So, you know, be prepared to care for your own sick and avoid the public in general if a serious pandemic occurs. So the World Bank sees this as a real possibility. It's just pragmatism to be able to take care of these types of things on your own and understand what the situation could be like. You know, and by the way, we're also in the midst of a plague outbreak in Madagascar, a right nasty one too, where 805 people have been infected in total, that number having doubled in just a week. So that story will be linked below as well. That's it for now. Stay alert, be prepared, and have a great day.